Hey guys, it's me, John, here. Hope you're all staying safe and keeping yourselves clean and washing your hands and all that. All right, but uh, so I figured, you know, during this time when we're not in school, you know, we still got to try and, you know, work away and try and learn something every day. So me, what I've been doing, being stuck inside some days, is I've been learning a new recipe every day. So I've been cooking something every night that's brand new from a recipe book. And uh, I figured I'll read you one of the recipes here from my Bob's Burgers cookbook. It's pretty awesome. And they don't just, you know, make your regular classic burger. They do crazy things. And the one we tried recently was Don't You For Cheddar About Me Burger, which has four different kinds of cheddar in it. Four different kinds. It's pretty good. Came out pretty nice. I gotta say. So, let's read. Let's see what we gotta have in this. So, here it is. How many cheddars are too many in a burger? Science does not know yet. This burger handles four safely and deliciously. The all beef patty is stuffed with two different cheddars, cooked in bacon fat, and then topped with two other completely different cheddars. Throw in some crispy bacon on the top, along with lettuce and onions, and call it a beautiful, fantastic, cheesy day. All right. So as you can see here, this is how you build your burger. You got your bun, you got your onions, you got your bacon, you got the two separate kinds of cheeses, then you got the burger filled with two other kinds of cheeses, then you got your lettuce at the bottom, and then the bun. The key with that is you want to put that lettuce on the bottom so that the burger, right, the juices don't get too deep into the bread. It's good if they get a little bit in there, but you don't want it all getting soggy on you. Anyway, here we go. These are the things you're going to need, the ingredients in here, all right? You're going to need one pound of bacon if you want to make four burgers. You're going to need one pound of ground beef, one pound four slices of white sharp cheddar cheese then you need four more slices of yellow sharp cheddar cheese then you're gonna need four slices of white mild horseradish cheddar now I supplement that with extra sharp New York that one was pretty good then they say that they also want to do four slices of yellow mild cheddar. And then they say you could also get a sweet red cheddar, but I have no idea where you find that. You don't find that anywhere. Anyway, then you're going to need your four buns. Then you're going to have a nice green leaf lettuce. If you want to change up your lettuce or leaf, whatever, that's fine. You do it. You get yourself some spinach or something. Then you want a regular one medium white onion and slice it up. All right, so here's step one. Cook the bacon. You cook the bacon in a large frying pan and keep the fat in the pan. Then you rip up one slice of the white sharp cheddar and you slice one piece of yellow sharp cheddar and you fold it into the middle of each burger. So you stick it in and then you make the patty around it, okay? Make sure it's inside. I find like if you take it and you ball the meat up like you would make a meatball and then flatten it, that makes it better. Then after that, you're gonna season it. So you're gonna put stuff on it. You're gonna put salt and pepper on it to cook. Then after that, you cook that patty in the pan with the bacon fat and before they're finished you want to melt that slice of horseradish cheese or that extra sharp New York cheddar and a slice of the regular mild yellow cheddar on top of it so there's a couple ways you can cook your burgers you know people like the burgers different ways me I say about seven minutes on each side is good for me but everybody does it differently. Some people want to bake it. Some people want to steam it. You make your burger how you feel. Then number four, it says you got to build the burger. You got the bottom bun, 
right? Like we said, there's that bottom bun. Then after that, you have lettuce, then the cheeseburger, then the bacon slices, the onions, and then the top bun. And it says here, a gracious number of cheddar. Oh, sorry, no. Gratuitous. Gratuitous. A lot. All right? A gratuitous amount of cheddars would be five. But that would be crazy. But you couldn't just do three, so you got to go four. Four is the right number. Anyway, that is the Don't You Four Cheddar About Me burger. And I got to say, we did it the other night, and last night, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but it came out really well. It was really amazing. Awesome cheddar. Pretty sweet. Anyway, guys, like I said... You pick something that you can do every day to learn something new, you know? So this was me and what I was doing. I'm learning something new every day. I'm picking a recipe and I'm like, all right, this is the new recipe of the day. You guys, you know, you work hard in your virtual classes. Try your best, really push it, and um, try to stay busy, stay active, you know? Pick something in your day that you're going to do and you're going to try to learn something new. That's what I'd say. All right, guys. Here's me signing off. Good luck out there.